Now that you've successfully been able to increment the number of guesses by clicking on too high or too low, we now want to take it to the next level and when the computer successfully guesses your, the user's number, they're going to hit this got it button. When they hit the got it button, that value, that number of guesses, we want to transfer into the victory screen and have it appear right here in the guesses label and that label proper that label value to change to the number of guesses it took the computer to get there it might seem like it would be an easy solution to have when the screen initiates in the victory screen to just grab the the value of the that variable so i'm going to set the text the guesses text to the variable of number of guesses but when I try to do that you'll notice the number of guesses is not there it is out of scope the number of guesses variable global variable only lasts as long as the screen lasts when we leave the screen we lose that value so what we're gonna to have to do is come up with a way to transfer that value from one screen to another screen and the way we're going to do that is with the tiny database object when you um, coded up the um, the components onto your designer view you added a non-visible tiny database called number of guesses if you haven't done that already in the previous video please be sure to do that now and what you're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to use that number of guesses in order to um, that tiny database number of guesses in order to transfer the value into the next screen it is best practice when using the tiny database object that when you initialize your um, screen you clear old values out of that tiny database it can cause uh, some problems if you don't clear that value because it actually stores it on the phone and you might have old data and it just might cause uh, data integrity problems to clear it out as long as we're here let's also fix something we missed in the last round in our, our last video when your screen initializes we don't call an update, which is what we need to do right away, is we need to update as soon as the screen initializes so that we can get the correct number of guesses into that field. The value starts at zero, uh, the number of guesses starts at zero, and we want it to immediately go to one because it's going to make the first guess of 500. So we also want to um, update the screen right away so that the values are correct in the number of guesses. I bet some of you notice that error in the in the um, code. Now we have to take the got it value. When the user clicks on got it we have to update that tiny database and the way we do that is we are going to store a value and we're going to give that value a name and then we're going to store a value and that's called the call. Tiny database or the number of guesses which is the name of the database and we're going to store a value now the name of that is completely up to you but you have to remember it because you're going to use it twice and I just like keeping with the number of guesses pattern and I'm going to go number of guesses and keep it the exact same so that I know number of guesses and I'm looking for the number of guesses and the value I'm going to get is the number of guesses so I'm going to grab that global number of guesses that's now going to be stored in the tiny database named number of guesses on the phone I now have that set and put into the computer's uh, memory and when it travels to screen 2 in the victory screen I now have to get that value and I want to get that value as soon as the screen initializes I want that guesses label to go to that value so I'm going to set that guesses label text to the value from the tiny database. Now it doesn't matter that it has a different name. It's still going to be the same database because it's going to retrieve it from the tag. So I'm going to now get the value before I set the value. Now I'm going to get the value and I'm going to get the value of the number of guesses. Now it's important you name it the exact same thing. And it also gives you a little out if there is an error. That tells you you did something wrong, so you'll so you'll um, know. But otherwise, it's just going to get the value 
from the tiny database and display that data. Now we want to test this to make sure it works. So I'm going to go reset connection and I'm going to test it with AI Companion. But remember, when we use AI Companion, it goes instantly to it starts at the screen you're currently on. Unlike the build, when you have an app, it goes to screen one. When you do it, when you have multiple screens, you have to make sure you're on the correct screen when you start your connection. So I'm going to start on my screen one and then connect. Add companion and run through the screens. I know it takes a while to get through each screen, but it will work best if you do it properly and you automatically take your program back to screen one before you connect your code. So good luck with this difficult step and make sure you did everything right before you move to the next one. I strongly urge you to test it first. Code on everyone.